Rep. Guerra. Uh, what, uh, if this legislation passed, would you be forced, uh, would doctors be forced to treat patients in a way in which uh, he or she would be receiving medically, uh, they would be giving medically inappropriate and potentially substandard care to the woman? If this, is, if this option is not available to those in second trimester? There are options available in the second trimester, medically induced abortion. Okay. Could you explain those options for me? Medically induced abortion, where a woman takes a pill and her labor is induced. Okay. And what pill, what's the name of the pill? The abortion pill. Okay. And um, are there any risks associated with taking this pill in a second trimester? I'm not a doctor. I couldn't tell you that. Is there concern that not being a doctor, perhaps you shouldn't be drafting legislation? No, there's no concern about that. The hands of doctors who have the medical no. experience to do no. such work? No. Okay. No, I'm concerned about children being ripped apart in the womb when there is an alternative method at every stage of pregnancy. Uh, and what follow up? In, in no other time in our society, in no other place, do we find it acceptable to rip a living being apart in order to end its life? Your argument is based on the belief that, you know, the, the issue of abortion is about viability. And so I think you're, again, confusing live, uh, life with viability. Um, if I may have a follow-up question, um, in what ways do you think this bill, if enacted, will impact the doctor-patient relationship? I don't think it will. Uh, and final question, if, if this legislation is enacted, uh, what impact could it potentially have on the medical profession overall here in Michigan? I, I have no idea. Okay. No Can you questions. fill me in on that? What middle and what impact it will have on the Oh, I myself profession? am not a doctor as well, so that's why I don't draft oh. legislation that suggests that I am one. Thank you.